All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with our finished patio. The only thing left to do now is to sand the inside of the cracks. Everything is dry laid, all the cuts are complete. Um, with the cuts, we were really careful to make sure that uh, everything fit properly, but as you can see, you gotta make sure your angle's right. The cut's a little bit too short, you can kind of adjust the spacing with your bricks. If you can see right here, you can just adjust things so that they end up looking good. And what we'd want to do here, this isn't quite where we want it, so we take a little bit of sand, put it in between the cracks, set it, and then that angle is good. This one too, there's a little bit we can do with it to just kind of shimmy it into place. But as you can see with the cut line going down this side here, you want to make sure that it goes with the flow of the patio. If you get cuts that are all angled the wrong way, it won't look good. But uh, you can get away with cuts that don't quite fit. But uh, as long as the angle's correct, you can usually make them work. So we spent a good day doing cuts. And uh, as you can see, another very important thing on the edge here is the concrete we used right there. Now what that is going to do is going to keep the patio in place. Um, once you apply vertical pressure to the patio, it creates horizontal space. So as I'm walking on it right now, there's a force being exerted where the pavers are going to want to split apart. What this concrete does is it prevents that from happening. Now here is the rest of the patio, our circle over here, which uh, looks pretty sharp. There's going to actually be a fire pit going in the middle of that, so the homeowners can enjoy fires all summer. But uh, as you can see, we don't have any sand in the cracks yet. It's all just gaps. So we've got all our levels perfect. Now the next step is to tamp the patio with our plate compactor. I'll show you the plate compactor, which is right there. And we're going to go over the entire thing now that the patio is concreted in, the edges are secure, it's okay to tamp, and it should level out any imperfections. You can see there's one right there. That imperfection actually will have to be pulled up. That one, those two bricks will have to be reset because that will not set down properly. But most of it, like you can see there's a few more. Um, where's another one? Right here. You can see that is a little bit of an imperfection. That one brick is higher. But that'll totally just tamp right out and it'll get super flat uh, once we plate compact the whole thing. Now the important thing is, is there's a couple phases of finishing off the patio. We have no sand in the gaps right now, so we're going to tamp it once with no sand in the gaps. Then once that is complete, we're going to sweep a layer of our screeding sand, which is just normal sand, wash sand, 5mm wash sand works. Uh, it's the first layer into the cracks. And then after that, what we're gonna use is actually called a polymer sand in between the gaps after that. So in between each layer of sanding, we're gonna tamp it and, uh, and then sweep more sand into it. So the first layer, we do a light layer of um, just washed sand once again. And uh, the second layer is polymer sand. Now, polymer sand is special because a polymer is a glue and once water is applied to it, it uh, hardens and it seals up. So by putting this in the cracks, what we're actually gonna do is seal up these cracks so that all of our water doesn't sit underneath the patio or goes in between the gaps. The water is just gonna go right over top of the patio and it's gonna go right into this area where you can see there's a lot of water already. And then with the rest of the grade of the yard, we'll take all the water over towards that area. Of course, it's gonna differ for every yard. But our patio, the high point over here, and it goes away from the house, but it slopes a little bit towards this way, mostly away from the house, the grade goes. So when it rains, stuff like that, we shouldn't get a lot of water on our patio. Now we're really careful in the screening process to not get low points. If you have low points, then you're going to have issues when you tamp the thing out. Um, it won't be a smooth smooth surface. Now the things that will tamp out are just micro imperfections where you know the odd brick isn't quite set the same way as the other one. 
but if your macro grade is off then you will have issues um, once you tamp out your patio but our macro grade is pretty perfect uh, so we like to think and um, this will be one solid patio and a solid sheet that will divert water where we want it to and where it won't cause any problems for the patio in the future anyways so that is how you prepare a patio that is finished and uh, yeah, it should take us a couple hours here and we will be done completely. We'll talk to you later.